Hello guys, in today's video we are going to talk about writing uh, CloudFormation script in order to provision a Lambda function so as to deploy different services manually by invoking the Lambda function. It will either be an S3 or an EC2 instance. In order to do that, make sure we have the different script and uh, store that in S3. So like uh, to deploy an S3 bucket in a JSON script, we need to have a precision on the information, like not only uh, give an indication on the zip file, on the zip function where it would be um, executed. So here is the zip function that will create the S3 bucket and here is the name of the S3 bucket that will we will create by executing that lambda function. So let's go. Let's get started and deploy that. So in order to do, I'll go into a cloud formation. Then um, make sure that you note the actual script that you want to deploy. You copy the URL. So here we are deploying a JSON script in order to provision the Lambda function will copy the S3 URL link of that script and mention that, paste that before viewing that in design. Take note that if you had the script, uh, the JSON file locally in your machine, you could upload that. So what we are doing here is we are creating a service through cloud formation and we are doing that using a function that is written in json okay so here is the service that just pop up the function and here is the script that enables us to do that once the validation is complete we upload uh, or we deployed the function in order to provision a Lambda function that will be used in order to create the S3. So we have, uh, I will say, uh, two scripts. One is for uh, creating uh, the Lambda function and the other is for creating the S3 bucket. Okay, so let me go ahead and give a name to my stack. Okay, let me have it simple and uh, click on next. Okay, I'll just go right uh, at the top. I don't think there is uh, something. Yeah, I think uh, everything is good. I go and submit my infrastructure. Okay. Just give it some time, the time for the Lambda function to be created and you need to update that regularly in order to have the status complete. Okay. So, uh, why the complete, uh, will take some time, just be refreshing that. And after some while you have it on complete. So, uh, by then you see that if we go onto S3, uh, right on the S3, we don't have the bucket kev AC. Okay. So we don't have that bucket, but, uh, before going into that bucket, we need to take note that in order for the different service to communicate, we need to have or enable or attribute that a rule. Okay, so here is the rule that will enable the different services to communicate between them. So I will put all the code, all the, the different parameters in the description. So as you will have that correct and you can copy and paste and upload into your S3 bucket in order to follow on this tutorial. So once the Lambda function in order to is created, go on the Lambda, you see that you will have the function, but the function is up into a Lambda function created like a few minutes ago. 
then in order to like provision or create the S3 bucket, we need to execute this function. So if there is any modification, like here is the function very short and simple. You see there is no bucket with kev. But yeah, I have a bucket like kev AC bucket. So I go ahead and I launch uh, I launch that in order to test if everything is running. Then when I'll go back into my S3, my S3 section, I will have that done. So let me just give a name like test and save, save this and uh, run the test. Okay. Mm, I think uh, there's something missing. Even though I have successful. Okay. Let me instead go on the test before I deploy this uh, Lambda function. So as it will create an S3 bucket of name kev ac so i can update that here in order to view if the bucket has been created i don't think so so uh, let me just uh, figure out once more okay deployment isn't done i have kev ac i shouldn't change that bucket wasn't created after that test done okay the test was just uh, in order to so like give an event so okay so now i will need to go on the test yeah and on the test i will now run the test okay executing the function so don't stay on the code stay on the test and you run the test so as to execute so i think uh, now everything is correct then if i update here i will have okay yeah it's the bucket very short and simple and if you're in a production uh, environment production you can have many things done using lambda function so if you have many fastidious tasks you want to do you can uh, pass through the lambda and write some code in order to provision so here i just have like in order to view the event, what just happened since I have executed the function, you can go uh, on the cloud watch. Everything is in the description link within uh, the S3. You have everything you can go around, move around and you see the log and you can browse through the events log. What just happened at what time it, it happened. So as to have a summarize of the activity so yeah the different logs so our son our son okay uh that being uh seen i think uh, we have provision or we have created an s3 bucket using lambda function okay so now we will have to execute again uh, a lambda function but in now in order to create an EC2 instance. So here's the code responsible of doing that. Okay. We see that we are precising the type Lambda function. Where is the file located? Note that the, the, the file here that I, it's in the description in Python. You will need to zip that file before uploading it into your S3, before referencing it into your JSON uh file okay and the ec2 instance how will it look like here is the code responsible doing that way we mentioned everything amy and so on so the json file already uh, uploaded into our s3 bucket i'll just copy the url and start on creating start on creating a new a cloud formation stack where I will have to reference it there. Okay, let me just create a new stack. Okay, I allow it on uh, template ready S3 and I paste that. I view in design in order to have a visibility on the different services, view the code that is being called, check the syntax, and so on. So once uh, that pop up, 
we are going to have everything up and running and we will, we will also check if the EC2 instance will be running. Okay, mm, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we have the EC2 instance uh, function from Lambda function that is up and here is the code. Okay, we validate that, the syntax, everything uh, is correct. Okay, taking some time. Then uh, after the validation, we need to upload that. Okay, template is valid. Let's just deploy, deploy the code. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. It takes a little bit of time. Give it some time and we have everything up and running. Okay. Okay, so that brought us back. Yeah, we were in view design. We have already validated everything and we need to create the new stack. We are dealing with EC2. So this stack it will be responsible of creating an EC2. Okay, we allow everything as it is here. Brief demonstration. Okay, we submit our infrastructure. Okay creation in progress. You can see uh, if you come along into the EC2 dashboard, you do some update. We have no EC2 running, but once everything will be completed on this side, then at the EC2 dashboard, we have an instance running. Okay. Yeah, we have uh, everything already done. Let me, let me come back. I will now need to verify if the function for the EC2 has been created. That is done. We have it here. Okay. Let me just go into that function, execute the function. Okay. Let's execute the function. Let's give the name to the event. Okay, we test and run the function. Okay, once the function uh, is executed, it just initialize the instance creation. So on, on the instance we have one, but the starting state is still on pen pending. Okay. So that is away some. So you can have a view of on the event execution result succeeded. Okay. You have the different, the different states here. You have the different parameters here. Okay. So everything is up and running here. Correctly, guys, you can have the instance after some time you have it up and running. So it's still initializing. So in case you have multiple instance, you want to like uh, start from time to time, you can use a Lambda function in order to do so. And uh, here you have the different information. Awesome. So guys, uh, after all this being said, you see uh, if you update it from time to time, the instance state will change to running and the status checkup will also change. So don't forget to discard your infrastructure in order to avoid costs from AWS. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.